Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you and I am so excited. If you saw the thumbnail and the title of this video, you know why I am excited. But I have a haul, so I'm gonna show you some things first and then we're gonna get down and dirty. I bought some of these, which I love. Uh, these are for my freezer. So I need to do my big freezer. I have an upright freezer. Excuse me, man, that's not for you. I also have a Luna here. Um, I'm trying to take one out. I have these. I need to organize my freezer because I have a lot of pork in there and beef and chicken, but mostly pork from my cousins and they're getting ready to process some more pigs from 4-H and I need to have room. So I grabbed those to organize my freezer and then I grabbed these. So I figured I will put like the pork sausages and the steaks and the bacon and all that in these. And I'll know that these were this last year's pig. So I eat those first. It's kind of my plan of attack on that. So I grabbed four of the clear. What's up out there, Alex? And I got four of these so that it can hold like hot dogs and stuff like that. So we're gonna do that. And then I grab some pickles cause I love these kosher pickles and there is no sugar in these. Let me make sure. Cucumber, water, vinegar, salt, calcium chloride. Yeah, no sugar in these. So I get the, and they're good. Kosher dills, I like pickles. Hi, go play. Um, I grabbed some peanuts. For snacks, we're getting ready to go on a little trip, Sarah and I. It's okay, here you go. To see her dad, and so I'm just getting like snacks for us for the trip, and that's for me. And then I got this to try, some strawberry peach. I've not tried the Welch's strawberry peach before, and there are six sticks, and I'll probably take that on vacation too. I think that's it for food for me. Um, for Luna, I grabbed some of these, and they came two different brands, but this is Beef Eaters, Chicken Wraps, Oven Baked Dog Treats. These are rawhide free, so I get these for Luna because so she can have treats while she's here. I've said that before. I get my boys treats all the time, and I like her to have some treats too. Hi, sweet girl. Um, I picked up these, the little butterflies, but I love that color. It almost looks like Tiffany blue. The darker looks like a Tiffany's, the store blue, but I thought these are cute and I grabbed them. What are you doing? I'm holding her chewy thing. Crazy. Oh, finally my store got the Tanti, Titania. Titan Titania, 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 Titidia, I don't know. The um, pumice for your foot. And so I grabbed one and they also had one that was like this big, like tiny, like this small. And at first I was like, well, what are you gonna do with that? But then I was thinking they probably sold them for people who do pedicures and it's like a one-time deal. So it will be this cut into like three pieces or four pieces, but I got the big one for me. Oh, and these are super exciting. These are alcohol prep wipes for when I, I have a Dexcom and I need alcohol wipes when I change it and put it on. And so I was running low. So I grabbed two packages because I use two or three at a time. Two, um, that goes upstairs. Let's just sort while we're doing this. That goes upstairs. Then my store got a ton of books out. And I found the Crafter's Book of Clever Ideas. And look at all of these pages of just fun little crafts that you can do. And I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, just different crafty stuff. And I think it'll be also super fun if for somebody with little children. Um, and it even had, I just saw them, templates in the back. And it just goes into different, these are templates for miniature taxidermy uh, bulletin boards. I'm not doing no taxidermy, but you know, whatever. And it's, I think, fun stuff to do with adults and children. So I grabbed this book and it was $24.99. I think $24.99. I don't know when it came out, but 
that's okay. Crafts are never ending. And then I found this book that I thought would be a fun read. And it is called The Art of Arranging Yourself in the World Cozy. The Cozy World. How to Make Yourself Cozy. And all these different topics and stuff. I thought this was a great, like, just a fun little read. Um, I don't think I know how much this was. $28.50. What? Yeah. Beautifully written with warmth and heart. Cozy is a balm for hard times. And Isabel Gillies reminds us, our everyday choices have enormous power to make our lives happier, more fulfilling, and more in tune with what makes us genuinely us. Moreover, Hyg, the age of cozy is here. Oh, move over. Move over, Hyg. Cozy is here. So I want to read that book. Buddy, what are you doing up there? I don't know what he's doing. It's the cat, and he's up on the table. Then I got this book to read, and I think Sarah got it too. Stories from Suffragette City. Introdu um, introduction by Kristen Hanna. These are short stories that happened on October 23rd, 1915, I believe. And there was a suffrage at City. And it says, for the women of the past who fought so hard for the 19th Amendment and those who continue fighting today to secure voting rights for all. And I just felt like this was very appropriate. And it was regularly $25.99. But it's story, short stories from what happened during the Suffrage Act time. Um, it says a landmark 1950, oh, a landmark 1915, Luna, come here, protest for women's suffrage is a setting for the dozen short stories in this rousing anthology. A diverse range of vivid characters brings human faces to a historically a historical protest march. And this is all about the Women's Suffrage Act. So I grab that. Because that sounds fantastic. And this is going to be a gift for the next person in my life that gets a puppy or a dog. And it says, who's a good dog? A keepsake memory book for my dog. And it is like a baby book. Except for it's for your dog. For your first, you know, puppy. And you put pictures. I'm dying. Um, and it is Castle Point Books is the name of it. And I wish they had one for cats, but they didn't. They just had who's a good dog. So this will be in my gift pile to somebody someday I will know will have um, cats or puppies. Puppies. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? It is almost time for Halloween's giving this. And to me, Halloween's giving this is the time between September, okay, August and Christmas. And I am here for it. Okay. So I walked into, we went, to, Sarah and I, picture this. Sarah and I went into the Dollar Tree up the road from me. I know what, it's, my hair's a mess. It's been raining. On 256 in Reynoldsburg. This is where I found all of this stuff I'm about ready to show you. We walked in and I gasped. <gasps> there was a row, a whole aisle of Halloween. What? I know. So I'll show you a few things at Halloween. It, they didn't have much out for Halloween and most of it was from last year, but I got some new stuff. But this is not it. I grabbed some more of these. I love these. This, these skeletons. I really had fun with these last year. So I grabbed two to try to craft with this year. So I grabbed those. I, my store finally got the bottle brushes. What? I know. So these are the black and tan ones. And then they had ones that were like ombre. And then they had purple with all the glitter. But I just liked these. I know. Right? So I grabbed those. And then the only other thing I got for Halloween specific is this purple. And I feel like at Christmas they had this out in black. Or maybe it was last year. I don't remember. But I have it in black. It is wired. And this is the purple. And I thought this purple is everything. And they also, I don't know what other colors they had because I only had one, there was one purple, like three orange, and that was it. So I'm assuming they came in orange, purple, and black. And I think I have a black upstairs in my craft room. 
So that was all I picked up so far for Halloween. I'm not a huge Halloween decorator, but I do enjoy crafting for Halloween. So we will, we'll do that. I'm going to, well, figure out what I'll do with that in a minute. And then fall, fall, fall Thanksgiving. Okay, excuse me. They came out with a ton. And I mean, this has just been put on the shelves of new stuff for fall and Halloween. So I'm gonna to try to sort it here for one brief moment in time because I wanna make the best of it. So let's talk. Um, they had a lot of stuff that I had seen previously, but done in a different way, like redone. So that was what was exciting to me. Okay, I think I have it all sorted out here, I do. Okay, first of all, they redid the envelope for Halloween or for fall and look at the beads and this is just so pretty and it just says hello autumn and I want to hang this somewhere and it's I mean it's heavy duty this is you know galvanized this is the uh I don't know, remember what the wood is called and then the beads it's just it's everything like it's the detail is there like I'm gonna do nothing to this except for hang it up on my wall when fall comes around I'll hang it the right way. And then they had two designs on the inside, but I got Hello Autumn. So I grabbed that. And so what I've noticed is everything is very tactile and kind of earthy and um, on trend. Because I saw some of the stuff that Target was getting and it was all about like the faux leather. What? These are fake leather pumpkins. Like what? I only saw these two colors at my store and I'm dying. So I grabbed just one of each. I didn't need a ton of everything because I sometimes over purchase. I don't know. So I grabbed them in this texture and then they have them and I'm, I'm gonna put all these together. The burlap wrapped ones. Like what? And they're a nice size. Now they all have the clips on the back, but I'm loving the texture that they're coming up with. I'm trying to hold this so you can see, and I'm not doing a very good job because I'm very excited. Okay, we'll do it easier. So I grabbed those two colors, the taupe and the brown in the fake leather. And then I got, this is like a rusty colored orange, and this is more of a tanny orange in the burlap covered. I know. So I grabbed those. I just got one of each for now. I picked up so we've all seen that they have the leaves, right? These are fake leather leaves. Guys, they are fake leather. What? They did not have any other colors at my store, but I'm kind of hoping that they come out with like the darker ones because I am dying. I am dying right now. I love the leather and the burlap and all that real rusticy feel. I'm, I'm here for it. Now, I, like I said, I only saw these in this color, so I grabbed one of each, but I'm hoping, against hope, that they have some other colors. It's very early in the season. And then, because this is all new, what is happening in my life? Grateful, thankful. What? You get two for a dollar, and they're like, they could be gift tags, they could be holders, and they're fake leather. I mean, but look at them. So you got the pumpkin and the maple leaf. And then they hang on these little leather straps. Can you imagine like putting some beads on here maybe even? I love them. And I think these will be fantastic for something. Something, I don't know what. I'm not, who's thinking about fall yet? It's not even me, but I have to. And then they had this, the blessed. These are faux leather words and they, oh wait. No, they don't all say blessed. They had these in different colors of the leather. They had the dark, and then they had all the different light ones, but you get two blessed and two grateful. What? And this is some thick leather, guys. This is our pleather, I suppose. I mean, this is probably a quarter of an inch thick. What? What? I know. I cannot wait. It is... It is amazing. And like the back even, I'm so excited. Can you tell? I'm a little excited here, guys. I'm a little excited. Then, 
they had their ribbon out and I feel like they had this out last year potentially but I didn't purchase it so I grabbed this ribbon this is wire edge and it has the outlines of all the fall leaves on them and then coordinating I got the orange and the green and I thought these three would make a perfect bow or some type of accent not a huge bow person, but I do enjoy a, a pretty bow, especially like on a fall wreath. So I grab those colors, one of each. Again, I just need one of each of everything. I need to stop buying 10 of everything. Um, I'm sorry, what? Now, I don't think this was in the season. Yes, this is in the fall too. The mushrooms. What in the heck? They had them in this blue. They had them in like a hot pink and another kind of bright color so i'm thinking that the colors this year they're bringing in a lot of like pastels which i'm not really about that but i do enjoy these and i feel like these i could put out anytime these don't have to just be for halloween and they're they're styrofoam but you get three giant mushrooms like what oh i'm so excited and i love this color and it's a little darker than what you're seeing here. I'll pull it back. And that's the color. I know, right? Are you dying? Because I'm dying here. And I just have a couple more things. So they came back out with these little um, ornaments. But they made them in chalkboard. So they had the acorn. They had a turkey. And they had an owl that I saw. I just needed the acorns. So I got those. And they do have their own little wine. I love that. I know. So I grabbed those. Also, they had a bunch of frames, but look at this. It's a maple leaf. Should be a maple leaf, but it has 11 points. Let's see. 1, 2, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No. That's not a maple leaf. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. It's a leaf. Is it a maple leaf? I don't know. But they had these in the, the leaf. They had them in apples. They had them um, all kinds of fall stuff. And these are nice and sturdy. And they have the wood back. And then the little things so you can put a picture and stand them up. So I grabbed two of those because I think I could do some cross stitch and frame. And then, are you holding on to your hat for these last two things? I'm sorry, what? This is, it's called Natural Pumpkin Pick. It's like a raffia or some type of wicker braid wrapped around a pumpkin form. And these were the three colors. And then they have like a greenery where somebody had, like they glued moss to it. But I didn't think it went with these three. So I grabbed these. I know. Are you dying, guys? Because I'm dying. So I grabbed those three. I love the texture. And I don't even know if I put them in a vase with some greenery. You could cut the stick off and attach them, make it smaller. I mean, you could just kind of lay them out like in a bouquet. I mean, there's so many things you can do. Use them as drumsticks. What? So I grabbed one of each for now. That's all I felt like I needed. And then... This is it. I am excited. What the heck? So this is definitely more pumpkin-y orange or a little darker pumpkin orange, like a rusty orange there. That's a good color. A pastel pink. What? A gray and a sage. And these are crocheted or knit, probably knit but they're, they're like stuffies and then they're glued. I know. Guys, I'm so excited. I cannot even, I cannot even with these things. And these are on a nice thick <laughs> dowel. So that is all the stuff that I found. I am so excited and only, I've been to like three or four stores this week and one store had their fall stuff this much, their new stuff out. A lot of them have the signs out and they have a lot of new signs. I just don't need a bunch of new signs this year, I don't think. So I went, didn't get the signs, but next time I go in, I will take some pictures so I can share on my Facebook group. 
which I'll share some of this on my Facebook group tonight and let you know what's coming in the video tomorrow. Um, but we got some fun pumpkins. I'm so excited. I'm so excited I need to take a picture of that. Okay, so what are we gonna do with all this stuff? I haven't got the foggiest idea. I do know that over my pantry, um, I want to do some leather, like with these leather leaves and you, oh, I mean, they're just everything guys. And you get eight in each package. I'm assuming that they, they're gonna have different colors, but even if they don't, I'm okay with the different color array and the textures because I think they're fantastic. All right guys, that is everything that I have today. I hope you're as excited as I am and I will talk with you later. Bye.